All right, guys, I'm just kind of taking a little quick video here of distant drums up on top of the roadway here before we turn in. And uh, you got the sign right here. It says distant drums with a bunch of flags and stuff. <laughs> and this little road kind of sneaks up on you. So when we were coming in, we're like, where's the road? Where's the road? Because usually you turn in right where the sign is. And at this, at this one, it just says, Entrance. <laughs> right there. So, don't miss it if you're coming here. And then there's a little check-in area over there. Just want to show you guys that it's a little bit different getting into here. Alright, guys. So, here we are, guys. Distant Drums RV Resort. Actually, I'm going to take my fingers off the mic here. Because it is not windy. You might get a little wind noise from the bike. This is a very nice park. Everything's paved pretty much. Uh oh, going to get run over. Hold on. Uh, we're all good. So, everything's pretty much paved. The sites are paved. So that's the spot for your RV, and then that's the spot for your tow vehicle. Or, if you're towing a vehicle, you could put it there. So it's pretty neat the way they've got it laid out. Some spots, it's gravel where you put your RV in, and then paved for your other vehicle. So. most of the spots are back in now these around this side they have gravel for the trailer and then pavement for the car which i think is a little backwards but however they want to do it to their park <laughs> but it's pretty nice here's the pull through sites here they're pretty, they're nice and large. Not as not as large as where we came from in Tombstone, but they're 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 large. We got a little breathing room. The nice thing is is it's kind of laid out like uh, we were in New Mexico and Roswell, to where uh, you're not staring at the ugly side of the RV. You're kind of you're popped out towards each other. And have a little propane station. Yeah, we're just kind of cruise by. And that's the office. Sorry, guys, I kind of whizzed past there. And that's the office. And we've got some people checking into the office. And then the pool up there. I've never been in the pool because it's always been padlocked. And the reason why it's been padlocked is, is because of that. Just about every evening, it's been raining and lightning. So, pretty much closed the pool because of that. And we asked them about it and they said, well, if it's lightning within 10 miles, which normally it's 5 in Florida, 10 miles, they close the pool, which I get for safety. So I like this park, but I, <laughs> you guys are going to laugh, but I dislike it for a few reasons, and I'll point them out to you uh, as we start getting a little closer to that area of dislikeness, <laughs> if you could say that. And the main reason is they have the most ridiculous amount of rules posted up everywhere. You go to the washroom and there's literally a little placard that says if you splash water on the counter to wipe it up. Oh, guys, I'm an adult. I know to wipe it up and pick up after your pets. Yes, I, I know to pick up after my pets. It's a given. Everybody that's an RVer knows this. Um, and you know, 
it's not that much of a gripe but it's a gri for me it's a gripe it, i don't need i don't i don't need to be clubbed over the head uh with rules uh literally when you check in they give you a dissertation on all their rules which i get they're they're trying to keep their campground nice and it is and it's a nice campground i'm looking at one of the reasons two of the reasons uh that i kind of don't like this campground even though it is all paved and it is very manicured and they do come by and pick up your trash and here's our rig right here little plug <laughs> and here's another reason and there's another reason and there's another reason and you guys are probably saying well those are all really nice rvs dale what do you got against nice class a's i have nothing against the class a guys let me just sell that. Just wanted to kind of breeze through there real quick and show you. Here's what I don't like about this campground. These sites right here. All of those with the nice scenic view they're all class a only maybe not class a only but they are definitely motor coach only because of where the hookups are on this on this side right here so the only way for me to utilize that site is to pull my rig straight in and i can't do that because i can't obviously drive my truck off-road <laughs> and disconnect it and reconnect it so with that being said this park is mainly uh, it mainly caters just kind of my observation it mainly caters to uh, retired folks in class A's that love rolls <laughs> I don't know how else to put it so I'm just gonna say it and leave it at that but there is plenty of other trailers in here there's you know like me but we're all in the middle so i don't know if anybody else has noticed that but i have how you doing well the paved roads make it nice for me to scoot around on the e-bike on not that we've been here a whole lot to do so with um we've been doing a lot of things in the area to keep busy and I'll be posting up video of some of that in the next few days and unfortunately um, when we go to the Grand Canyon after this from what I understand their internet is not that great so um, <laughs> it's probably gonna be a while before I post up any videos but it's a nice campground. We'll just ride around a little bit. And there's the big sign for the casino up there. There's a casino very close to here, just pretty much right over that hill. Whoops, big, big RV right in the way. You just kind of come up here hang a right and go um, not even a mile down the road and you're there anyways guys this is distant drums man we did check out some other uh, RV parks in the area and they were very nice as well um, some that offered a little bit uh, different layout and uh, different scenery we found one that was on a creek uh, and I thought that was nice we could go fish if we wanted to or listen to the water go by and they call it monsoon season here because it rains every day so well <laughs> you uh, you would be calling it monsoon Florida then because it rains almost every day in Florida we got some puppies Yeah, I'm just going to roll back to the rig here. And we have the little dog park back here off this site. 
It's not very big. It's big enough, but it's not very big, and it's the only one. So it's the only dog park in here for all these RVs. So that's kind of another gripe. I'd hate to be a sourpuss. <laughs> I really do. Uh, but I don't know, man. I just, uh, I don't know. Got mixed feelings on it. It's nice because it's paved. Everything's paved. It's pretty much level. Um, but I, I just don't. I don't know, guys. Sometimes I just don't like the vibe of some places. So that's just, you know, it's just the way it goes. But flip this around a little bit. So like I was saying, tomorrow is uh, Grand Canyon Travel Day. So we're going to go up and stay at Grand Canyon, uh, that national park up there, and stay in the campground that's up there. And it's uh, very close to the south rim, so that's going to be cool. We're going to be able to hike that almost every day. So I'm really looking forward to that, guys. And uh, so that was Distant Drums, our resort. Uh, we'll have some more videos coming up of the things that we did in this area. Uh, hot air balloon tour. We rented a side-by-side -side and went off-road. We saw some ruins. So all just very cool stuff. And again, guys, if you like my content, like, subscribe, um, tell a friend. And of course, guys, go out and hug a loved one because I think that's just very important to do. And thanks for watching, guys, and have a great night.